All right, so you booted up Fallout 4, watched the opening cutscene, played with your character's appearance a little bit, and you're in the game. So there you are, having your morning coffee, watching the news, and just basically minding your own business you when the doorbell rings. And this guy hands you a registration form with seven attributes listed on it, and you're supposed to distribute 21 points in these seven attributes, whose names, by the way, are arranged to make an anagram. Special. So now you're thinking, What do I do now, Slack? How do I spend these points? What do you do now? Dude, no time to think. You're going to die. I'm going to die? That's right. You're going to die. A nuclear holocaust is coming. Just jam those points in any old place and run for the hills, Mom Barker. Run for the hills. L-M-F-T. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Run. Run for the hills, Mom Barker. Run. Uh, wait a minute, Slack. Just jam those points in any old place and run for the hills? What kind of answer is that? Actually, it's a good answer, and I'll explain why in this video. Oh, okay. He makes dumb jokes while he shoots his gun. Uh... Major Slack is lots of fun. Major Slack videos. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. Okay, after starting up Fallout 4, if you find yourself thinking, if I'm so special, how come I'm so confused? Then I've got the 411 for you. Here's how to make a build in Fallout 4. First of all, they kind of do everything back backwards, okay, with the presentation of the attribute build in the game. But I fully understand why. It's for the purposes of the backstory and whatnot. You know, I get it. But they know it, no doubt. They're fully aware it's back backwards. That's why they give you a do-over just a short while later in the game. All right? But at this point in the game, when the salesman hands you the registration card where you get to spend your 21 attribute points that's basically going to define your character build for the rest of the game, if you want to make some intelligent choices, you either have to A, be an extremely experienced Fallout 4 player who has the entire game committed to memory, or B, have the official game guide open to the perks section and then spend an hour or so flipping back and forth through a dozen or so pages while taking extensive notes on your smartphone. Now let's say neither of those two situations applies to you. You don't have your PhD in Follow Forology and you don't have the official game guide. And or you've, like me, have come to the conclusion that the official game guide seemed to spend more time trying to be cute and cuddly instead of clear and concise. But I digress. So it's established that you're a mere mortal. So what to do? Like I said, just throw your points in any old place. It does not matter. You're gonna get a chance to respend all those skill points or attribute points rather a short while later in the game when you'll be much better equipped to make these important decisions. All right, so now just start playing the game. You know, run for the hills, Ma Barker, et cetera, et cetera. Descend into Vault 111. Get frozen along with your wife and infant son. Watch your wife get whacked. Make your way through Vault 111. Squish a dozen or so giant gigantic cockroaches and collect everything. And I mean everything that isn't nailed down. And I'll elaborate on that in another video. And finally get to the end where you acquire the Pip-Boy. Personal data thingamajig whatever. At which point you can now access a very important screen in the game that is essential to making attribute point distribution decisions. And that screen is the perks chart. Let's go over the perks chart right now. Okay, here we go. Here's the perks chart. You access the perks chart. Let me just uh, exit here. Okay, you access the perks chart by pressing whatever button you uh, need to press to bring up Pip Boy and then press this button here. For me, it's T. So we press T and this brings up the perks chart. All right. And here are all the perks in the game. They are organized according to attribute. All right. Here are your so-called, all your so-called special attributes listed across the top. Okay. Strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck. Special. All right. And below each attribute is a column listing all the perks associated with that attribute. Okay. So Below the strength attribute is all the perks associated with strength, okay? See that? And below the perception attribute are all the perks associated with the perception attribute, right? Etc. etc. Here's all your endurance attribute or endurance perks rather. Here's all your charisma perks. Here's all your intelligence perks, and so on and so forth. Spending your attribute points is primarily about deciding which perks 
you want available to you in the game. That's all there is to it. Now you saw me quickly spend my attribute points earlier on, all right? All attributes automatically get one point put into them by the game itself to unlock all level one perks. Okay, you don't have to spend any points to unlock level one perks. So even without spending any attribute points, any and all level one perks are unlocked. To acquire any of those perks, you have to only spend a perk point to get that perk. Okay, they're unlocked, but you don't get to use them yet. You have to actually spend a perk point to get that perk. And you gain a perk point every time you level up in the game. It's just like Skyrim, okay? You'll get to that later on when you place more of the game and you start leveling up. Right now, it's just about unlocking those perks, all right? So for now, it's about deciding which perks you want unlocked and available to you throughout the rest of the game. You can't have them all unlocked. That's impossible, okay? That's impossible. You have to decide right now what kind of Fallout 4 guy or girl you want to be. So it's simply a matter of going through all these perks and hovering over each one, all right? Hover over a perk and it'll, it'll give you a clear description of what that perk is, all right? And deciding what you want available to you in the game. So let's examine what I did earlier on by quickly selecting all my attribute points, all right? What I did was I jammed uh, nine points into strength, okay? So nine points plus my one freebie makes strength up to level 10. So I have all the strength perks unlocked. I can get any strength perk I want in the game as long as I have A, a perk point to spend on it, and B, uh, some other um, special requirements such as, you know, like say for example, Basher level four I'm going to require uh, to be at level 26 and have strength up to 8. So we already have strength up to 8, but I won't be able to get back to level 4 until I'm at character level 26. Okay, that'll come later when you're leveling up, right? But at least I have all the strength perks unlocked. And another thing too, you don't have to, if this is not like a perk tree, you don't have to get all these previous strength perks in order to get, say, a level 10 perk. This level 10 perk is unlocked. All I have to do to get it is just simply have a perk point to spend. So I could spend a perk point and have that perk already. All right? That's it. It's not like a tree. So you can select any of those perks. It's just a matter of making them available to you by spending the requisite number of attribute points to unlock that perk at the beginning. All right? Now let's compare that to, say, endurance. Here endurance, I only put four points into endurance as opposed to nine points into strength. So endurance is up to level five. The original point that the game gives you for free plus four more points that I put into it to bring it up to level five. So let's scroll down. You see here level five. These are all the endurance perks. And you see that at level six, this is grayed out. Just like this is grayed out, that's grayed out, that's grayed out. Anything below level 5 is all grayed out. That means that all these endurance perks that are above level 5 will not be available to me in the game ever. Ever. Now, there are some minor exceptions, okay? I won't get into that to avoid confusion, but this is basically the way it works. You're basically deciding right now which perks you want available to you as, as you play the game. And when, once you spend those attribute points, you're unlocking certain perk points and that's it, that's it, that's all. You're defining what kind of Fallout guy or Fallout girl you want to play, girl you want to be, okay? You're defining your play style right now, all right? So, um, let's do a quick example. Let's say you want the ninja perk, all right? Trained as a shadow warrior, warrior your ranged sneak attacks do 2.5 times normal damage and your melee sneak attacks do four times normal damage. If you want this perk, you have to put seven points into the attribute that it's listed below. So you scroll up here and you see it's listed below the agility attribute. That means that you have to put seven points into agility in order to unlock the ninja perk. All right, it's as simple as that. Uh, let's try another one. Um, let's say this guy here, night person. You're a creature of night. Gain plus two to intelligence and, and perception between the hours of six p.m. and 6 a.m. In order to unlock this perk, you need six points, see level six, in, scroll up, the perception attribute. All right, spend six points 
into perception and you can unlock this perk plus any per perk that is below you know like these level 5 level 2 level 3 level 4 level 5 perks all in the perception um, attribute column are all automatically unlocked because you have enough points in them okay so that's basically the way it works so this is what I did at the beginning let's uh, let's create a smart build right now let's go out <laughs> a smart build no a build that I've been working on I've restarted the game six times and I came up with this build okay so you come into this this you're about to like exit vault 111 all right and you get your last chance this is it your last chance to change your attribute points all right so I'm gonna do that just for demonstrational purposes okay so here's all the points that I jammed into the you know at, at the beginning just for the hell of it let's bring it all down to zero all right so every attribute automatically gets one point into it automatically unlocking all level one perks for all the attributes now you got to decide see like I said you got to have a list because you can't have the perks chart up and running at the same time as you have this so make a list of all the perks you want and um, then spend the appropriate number of attribute points to unlock those perks so let's say I want gun nut which is a level 3 intelligence perk that allows me to put mods on guns I need at least three points in intelligence um, there's also the chemist perk uh, which makes drugs I take in the game last a lot longer. That's a level 7 intelligence perk. And after going through all the perks, I've decided that there are no more perks above level 7, which I want. So therefore, I just need to bring up intelligence to level 7. There we go, level 7. I don't need level 8, level 9, or level 10 intelligence perks. All right, that's, that's all there is to it. Same with... Uh, my next choice agility okay um, the top level perk I want in agility is the one I spoke about earlier ninja this requires you have seven points in agility some other perks that I want in uh, agility are gunslinger which is level one commando which is level two and sneak which is level three so the top perk I want in agility is ninja that's a level seven perk so I need to put uh, bring agility up to seven all right, so now I have nine points to spend. Now, next, endurance. Okay, you can't you see how it works. You can't have all the perks. You have to decide what kind of, you know, what kind of, what's your play style, and spend uh, attribute points accordingly in order to unlock the perks that you want to help you be a better gamer. All right. So, in endurance, uh, the top level perk I want is Aqua Boy. It is a level five perk. This will make me immune to radiation when I'm swimming. All right, that's a level five perk, so I have to bring up endurance to level five. Some other perks I want in endurance are life giver. Life giver, that's a level three, that uh, gives me a bonus to my maximum health, and chem resistant, which is level four, that makes me resistant to addiction when I'm taking drugs. <laughs> yeah, but once again, the top level perk I want in endurance is Aqua Boy, so I only need to bring up endurance to level five. Perception, the top level perk I want in perception is locksmith and that's a level four perk so I only need to bring up perception to level four and finally strength strength uh, the top level perk I want is armorer which uh, allows me to make armor mods and that's a level three perk and I don't want anything above that anyways I'm running out of perk point or rather attribute points so you know this is the way it works you have to distribute your attribute points and minimize some and maximize others okay so bring strength up to three and that's it that's all my perks or that not perks but rather all my attribute points that spent that's my build all right and let's change this to something a little more uh, sensible there we go major slack And we're done. And let's exit. Enjoy your return to the surface. And thank you for At this point, there's no backing out. There's no respecting. You can make some minor modifications to your attributes 
by picking up stuff in the game. Minor, okay? It's not like you're going to add like five points to your to one of your attributes. You can like bump up uh, some attributes one or two points, sometimes temporarily, sometimes permanently. <sighs> Let me just show you what I'm talking about just as a quick demonstration. Okay, we just exited Vault 101, or rather Vault 111. Our town is right there. That's our house right there. That's your house that you started it out with. Not this one, but that one over there. Let's go there and out right now. You have to go there anyways. That's part of the first mission. Okay, we've arrived in Sanctuary. That's our little town. Our burrow, if you will. Go to our house. Start talking to Codsworth to begin the mission, all right? We're just going to ignore that for now for demonstrational purposes. Go in to the infant's room, the baby's room, all right? Go in the baby's room. Look under this dresser right here. You look under this dresser and you find this, your special comic book or magazine. Pick that up and boom, you get another attribute point to spend. Now this rarely happens, okay? It's not like this is going to happen all over the game and you're going to get lots of these opportunities. This rarely happens. But this is just an example of one of the things that you can do to make like a minor exception to the attribute build that you're required to make at the beginning of the game. So here I can choose any any of my attributes and bump it up by one. So I'll choose strength and that's it, all right? So now strength is up to four instead of three. Remember I put uh, two points into it originally, which brought it up to three. Now it's up to four, all right? So now I can get level four perks in strength blacksmith, which is very important. And that is about it. That's how to make a build in Fallout 4. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching, and if you found this video remotely entertaining and or informative, please give the old Slackster a thumbs up. All right, thanks for watching. See you next video.